Welcome back, fans of all things Disney. Now that we are pin collecting again, what we have recognized is that we need a special way to be able to display our pins because I am a person that believes in everyday use. I am not somebody that likes to keep things boxed up and tucked away for a special occasion. I would much rather that things be on display as talking pieces for when people come into our home and simply accessible so that if we just wanted to have a quick reminder of a fabulous trip or a collection of ideas that have happened over a period of time, that we can do that. So one of the things that I have been spending a little bit of time doing is just scouring uh, some of the YouTube videos to come up with different ideas for pin boards. We started off by just placing our pins on some corkboard squares, which works, it definitely works, and we could certainly display those uh, by hanging those up around the house. But where I was struggling with that is it didn't have the same level of importance that I would like some of these sets to have. For example, the pins that I've collected from some of my different Run Disney races. I really would like to have a special place of honor for those, something that is unique and uh, not simply just on a piece of corkboard. So in looking for different options, different things that we could do to display our pin boards, I ran across a wonderful video um, I believe by Miss Allie Cakes, and it gave me a starting point. It gave me a really great idea. And what she had done is she had just taken some of those uh, photo frame, uh, photo booth pieces that you can purchase. I think you can even get them from Oriental Trading. Um, but the things that people will hold up and then they take their photo in those photo booths. And, and then she just put that around some cork board um, as well as some other paper. And that was a wonderful idea. For me, I think I wanted something just a little bit different, so I took that idea and I ran with it just a little bit. And what I came up with, uh, thanks to the Dollar Tree and some very inexpensive uh, photo frames, is I came up with something like this. Obviously, that's a five by seven frame. It can stand up on a table or on a ledge if I would like it to. It doesn't have to hang on the wall. But what I like about this is that right now it is the entire collection that I have for my Run Disney pins. I didn't have to split anything up and I don't have any empty space. And if uh, and when I do get more pins for Run Disney, it will be very easy for me to simply add to this. So what I'd like to do, this is so easy, I am not a do-it-yourselfer, um, so if I can do this, anybody can do this if you happen to like this idea. The only things that you're going to need, you're going to need some very inexpensive photo frames and what I've discovered in, in doing this is, you know, the cheaper the better, believe it or not, because when you go to put the back back on your photo frame, you need the little tabs that are very bendable, not anything that's going to lock into place. And I'll show you a close-up of what I mean in just a few minutes. Uh, you're also just going to need, if you do what I had done, you're just going to need a piece of poster board. It can be whatever color you would like to decorate with, whatever kind of background you would like to have behind those pins. And that is it. So let me go ahead and show you how I made this. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is take any of the photo frames that you have picked up. I have two that came right from the dollar store or our Dollar Tree is what we call it up here. And then I found this one at Walmart. And one of the things I liked about this is this just that kind of gold frame. It's much more uh, fancy than the other two. And I'm not exactly sure how this one is going to look, but I just couldn't resist. It was only $4 and I just had to have that one. First thing you need to do is just kind of pick which frame you're going to go with. And I'm going to take the larger of the two that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. Obviously just open it up. I need a little bit of help. Industrial strength saran wrap, I think. Once you have it out of the frame, all I did with the other one is, you know, you just pull these little metal tabs and these were the pieces that I was talking about that you definitely want these um, to be as cheap as possible because you are going to need to have them really, really bend. Now I'm pulling everything out of here and I really liked this, um, this frame that was in here. So I'm actually going to keep 
that in here. But, actually, let me take that out. I need to take the glass out. Put the frame back in because I did want to keep that little mat. Take your piece of glass and I just picked a black poster board to do this with. I just thought that that would kind of highlight each of the pieces, just kind of line it up. Because I happened to pick a rectangle to start with, that was a good choice. It makes it very easy to line it up. I'm not going to need that glass again, so I don't have to worry about marking it up at all. Just run your line so that you can cut your poster board. And then all you have to do is simply cut your poster board out. Once you have your poster board cut out, all you need to do is just make sure that you have actually cut it to the right size because this will be the backing for your pins and it looks like I did. Next step, you have to pick the pins that you are most interested in having in this frame. Now that I have my poster board cut out, I can go through my pin collection and I can just kind of get a sense as far as where I would like them to be. And again, I did start off by um, putting some of the new pins that I've gotten this week onto some of, some of the cork board. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull these off and just kind of place them where I think I would like them to be. And the one that's going in the gold frame here, the one that had the oval, these are gonna be kind of pins that I just find um, special and or unique. I'm going to put the year pins for our trips in here. And I am also going to put um, the pins for the different resorts that we have stayed at. Now, I also did just get some yesterday, so I'm gonna have to add to this even today. So I'll, I'll end up adding a little bit more to this once I have it all set out the way that I want it or the way I think I want it. And again, if I ever just don't like it um, once it's been up or I wanna make a change, it's as simple as just, you know, get a new piece of poster board and set that out. So this is the finished product and a couple of quick things that I didn't notice the first time that I put one together, but I definitely figured out this time, especially with this many pins. Uh, make sure you put the backs on those pins before you go to flip your poster board over. So I ran into a little bit of trouble and just had to poke them back through, but I could have saved myself an awful lot of trouble. So this frame will work for a little while. I already see that I'm going to want to add a few additional pins in here. I'm not exactly sure where they'll go, but this uh, includes the year pins as well as some of the different resort stays, and I already have a few that I do have to add into this. But for now, this will absolutely go on the mantle in our living room. So that do-it-yourself creation is about as crafty as I ever get, um, and I'm pretty pretty happy with them, actually. I, I think a couple will for sure end up on our mantle, some will end up on a bookshelf, but this way we'll be able to display all of our pins uh, for anybody to see and ask questions about or just for us to look at and, and uh, have some wonderful memories. So until our next video, bye-bye.